Good evening everyone, this is Bremster and tonight I'm coming to you with the second puzzle in this set of Sudoku U. Um, this is a basically a Signet puzzle, um, but it's not in um, Signet Sudoku Volume 1, it will probably be in Signet Sudoku Volume 2. Um, which is not out yet, but um, I will provide a link below to where you can get volume one as a free PDF. Um, if you go to the website for it, you can also, I believe, maybe still order it as a book. I don't know. I don't know if that was a limited time deal, but um, a lot of people worked through the puzzles from Signet Sudoku volume one and really enjoyed it. Um, I think it was Lucian Puzzles also streamed them on his YouTube, YouTube channel, and uh, uh, that was a really fun thing to watch. Um, so yeah, some really good stuff out there with the Signet Sudoku pack. Um, and But the Signet Sudoku pack is basically the students from um, Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards and um, uh, puzzles and paradoxes class, and these are the student. These Sudoku U was before Sudoku existed. The series that I was bringing, um, Sudoku University, basically, um, of those puzzles or some of those puzzles, and I'm continuing those series. This puzzle here is Green Lantern by Glitchhorse, Lumos, and Nash. Now, you've seen Lumos on the channel a few times. Um, Lumos has been one of the guest solvers on the channel um, when I'm lucky enough to get Lumos's time. So um, it's really good when that happens. And it's really good to solve a puzzle that's been set by the three students. I think it, it's great. Um... Uh, at the moment, over on the community section of my page, um, there I'm still doing the voting for 20, best of 2023, so please go check that out. Um, what else is, do I want to call out? Yeah, um, Signet Sudoku, this will be from volume two, I hope. Um, that's really it. Let's go have a look at this puzzle. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, I can't even highlight a box. In every box, in every row, I can't highlight a row either. In every row and in every column, I am exhausted. Every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have crop key pairs. So cells separated by a black dot are in a one to two ratio. Cells separated by a white dot must be consecutive. Not all dots are necessarily given. One to two ratio basically means one is double the other. White dot means they've got a difference of one. Um, and it's perfectly fine for any unmarked domino to be consecutive consecutive or in a one to two ratio. German whispers. On these green lines, adjacent digits on a line must have a difference of at least five. So these two digits, at least five different. And palindromes. The gray lines are palindromes and they read the same in either direction. So if this was, let's do this. If this was A, this could be C and this would be A because A, C, A in either direction. It is the same on these lines. If this was uh, F, a, B, D, then this would have to be B, A, and F, because fab has to read in the same in each direction. Um, and that's just the way they work. F, A, B, D, B, A, F is the same as F, A, B, D, B, A, F. Um, that's just the way of palindromes. I am going to get out of letter mode, then I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So this has to be a one or a nine. And the reason I know this is German whisper lines. So you can never put a five on a German whisper line because any digit that is five or more away from a five is either zero or less or 10 or higher. It <coughs> doesn't work. So a digit will exist either below five or above five. Any digit below five any other digit below five is too close. It's not more than four away. So any digit from one to four cannot be next to another digit from one to four. So it would have to be next to a digit from six to nine. And this digit has four partners. This cell here has four partners on whisper lines. So whatever this is has to have four partners, but there's only one digit in low digits that can have all four high partners because six is too close to two, three, and four. So if this is, um, because if these were high, one of them would be a six. This has to be a one if these are high. And if these are low, pardon me, four is too close to um, six, seven, and eight. This would have to be a nine because it's the only thing that could be next to the four. But you can never put a nine on a black dot because if this was a nine, this would have to be four and a half or 18, which doesn't work. So this is a one. This is a two. These are six, seven, eight, and nine. These are now 
uh, one, two, three, four, and five. You can never put a five on a black dot. So this becomes a five. This is consecutive with a five. So it's a four or a six. This is a four or a six. But if this is a four, this would have to be a two or an eight and it can't be. So this is six. This is three. This is six. Consecutive six. Consecutive with six is either five or seven and it can't be five. So this is a seven. That's a really nice opening. That makes this a four, which means this is a two or an eight, but that is matches to here and it can't be a two. So these are both eight. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Now, where do I want to go from here? These are all low because they are next to high digits on German Whisper lines. Now, 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 now. And the reason I put these digits in is the only thing in a one to two relationship with a one is a two. And once this was a three, the only thing in a one to two relationship with a three was a six. Um, because the nature of black dots is um, one doubles to two, two doubles to four, three doubles to six, four doubles to eight. And after that, it doesn't work. So four can only go next to two or eight. Three can only go next to six. So down here, I've got some options actually. Not sure where to look next. This triple maybe? One, two, three, four, and nine. So this, if this is a three, this is an eight or a nine. If this is a four, this is a nine. And if this is a nine, that is low. Okay, that's not where to look. Actually, no, if this is a three or a four, this is a nine. If this is a three or a four, this is a nine, because it can't be an eight. So if this is three or four, this is nine. And these would both be three, four. So nine, nine, and nine would be up here. If this is a nine, this is one, two, and it couldn't be a four because then both of the, this is only one, two, or nine. Huh. Huh. Is it this? If this is one, this is two. If this is two... This has gotten a lot harder all of a sudden. This is six, seven, eight, oh, no. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it can't be eight. It can't be five. So this is six, seven, or nine. So this is six, seven, or nine, and it can't be seven or nine because nine doesn't have a partner and seven doesn't have a partner. So this is six, so this is three. This is six. So this is now seven. There you go. Seven comes out of all of those because there's a seven in the box. That six sees this. This is now an eight or a nine. Six is in one of those two, but that six sees that one. So this is the six. This eight, nine means this can't be the nine. This is a one or a two. So this is the nine. Okay, wasn't that much harder. I just wasn't looking in the right place. This is cool. Seven can only go next to one or a two. Hmm, this isn't a three. Eight and nine are both up there. Well, this can't be an eight because that would reflect to there. So that's not an eight. If that's an eight, that's an eight, and that's an eight. Seems okay. That's a nine, that's a nine. Those are all the same digit. It's interesting. Don't know that it's helpful, but it's interesting. So this is high. So this is seven, eight, or nine, because it can't be six for various reasons. This is low, it's one, two, or four, and it can't be four, because if it was four, both of those would have to be nine. This can't be nine either, because of that. So this is high. It could be six, seven, or eight. So four is up here, because I can't put four on this line, and I can't put four there. Four is up here, so this isn't four. 
Oh, this is six on a whisper line. That's just a one. That's been there for a while. So this is now a two. So there's no two here. Weird. I say that a lot about puzzles, but it continues to be true about puzzles. Four isn't in any of those. So four is in one of those two. So four is in one of those two. If four is there, four is there, and four is there. Okay. So that digit is that digit. What can I tell about that? It can't be one, two, three. It could be four, five. It can't be four. It could be five. Can't be six. Can't be seven. Can't be eight. Can't be nine. That's just five. Can't be one. Can't be two. Can't be three. Can't be four. Could be five. Can't be six. Can't be seven. Remember, it's these two digits we're talking about. Can't be eight. Can't be nine. Those are just five. Wow which puts five down here. So do I want to look at those two digits? So let's highlight them. They can be one. They can't be two. They can't be three. Oh man, those could be lots of things. Lots of different things. They could be one. They can't be two. They can't be three. They could be four. They could be, they can't be five. Can't be six. Can't be seven. Could be eight, could be nine. Holy cow. No, they can't be eight or nine because of the eight, nine pair. They're just one or four. So they can't be lots of different things. These are one or four. So now I've got a one, four pair. So what are these? They can't be one, they can't be two, they can't be three, they can't be four. They can't be five, they can't be six, they can't be seven. These are eight and nine. Oh, of course they were, because they were yellow. This was always eight, nine. So now I've got an eight, nine pair. I didn't even need to check that because I'd already labeled them as the same color. So that was dumb of me. Do I want to look at this quadruple? Two five, seven, nine. So if they're two, five, seven, and nine, there's no five up here. This is two. So let's mark this quadruple. One, three, four, seven. So up here, This can't be nine because that can't be eight. If this is seven, this would have to be six or eight. This is two. So this isn't four or seven. This is one or three. That takes two out of all of these. This is one or three. Five is down here now. Two is up here. So I can't put three on this. because I can't put two or four on it. So it's got a six or an eight on it, and the six or eight, this can't be two, four, six, or eight. So this is a six or an eight, and this is a five, a seven or a nine, because it can't be five. So this is one, three, four, or seven, and it can't be three. So this is one, four, or seven. This is nuts. Seven is in one of those two because seven can't be in those or these. Can 
can that be eight or nine? Like if it's if this is high, it's nine. I've got to put a one and a two in this row. I can only put one of them over here. So these are one, two, eight, nine. Because I have to put another one, two in this row. Wait, is that right? I'm not trusting that. I have to put two of one and two in this row. I can only put one of them over here. This feels right. Eight and nine are over here. Because eight and nine are down here, eight and nine are down here. So eight and nine are over here. In this row, I need to put another one and two. But I can't put them both over here. So there must be a one or a two over here. This is one, two, eight, nine. So the three in this row is over here, and this is the four which means this is the three. Now, this can't be a two, this, that means this can't, this can't be a two or an eight because it would reflect there. So this is one or nine. There's no two eight here. So these can't have, these are from one, two, three. I can't put seven over here. This is the seven. So this is the seven. So this isn't the seven. This is the seven, which takes seven out of those. Those are a five, nine pair, making yellow eight. Taking eight out of there, that makes this nine. Can you understand why I'm terrified I've made a mistake on this puzzle? Seven comes out of there. The eight makes this the seven, which means there's no seven here. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, five, and nine which actually is remarkably unresolved. So what's this quadruple? One, two, three, four, five, six, se three, four, seven, nine. So there's no seven, nine there. This is a three, four. There's no seven there. If this, is, this can't be a four because then both of these would need to be nine. If this is three, this is nine, this is eight. Oh, this isn't three. This is just seven, nine. So there's no nine here. This is the nine. This is a one, two. And the reason for that was the three here. So this is the nine, which means this is the nine. This is low, one, three, four, and it can't be four because I, they both have to be nine. So this is high, it could be six, eight, or nine. Oh, eight can't go next to four. That's a one. 
blue is four and I can get rid of all my coloring. Always forgetting my whispers, am I? So this is one or three. So this is the four. So this is not the four. Four is down here. This is a one, three pair. This is not a four. What are these? These are one, two, three. And they must contain a two. Tricky puzzle. Not as tricky as yesterday's, I don't think. I'm still recovering from yesterday's. So these are one, two, and five, and must contain a five. Is it going to be this? What's this quadruple? One, two, three, five, seven, and nine. Three, five, seven, and nine. Well, there's no seven there. There's no nine there. But this, no seven there. But this is almost unrestricted. Except that's odd. So this is even. Two, four, six, or eight. Yee-har? Have I missed a parody trick in this puzzle? This seven nine pair means this is a three or a four. The palindromes are resolved. Oh, this three makes this the one, which makes this the two, which makes this the three, which makes this the one, which takes the one out of those. That's a two, three, that's a one. There's no three there. Four is in one of those two by Sudoku, so that's not a four. Two is not there. Two is in one of these. They've really upped the difficulty on these puzzles. There's no two there. This is a one five. So this is a two. This is a one. There's no two in those. This is a one, three. This is the three. This is the one. This is the four. This is the three. There's no three there. There must be a three in one of those. This is the five and this is the one because there's already a one in this column. This is the nine, and that takes nine out of there, those, and that. No, taking it out of that. Takes nine, that becomes the seven. There's no nine there. This is six or eight. So there's a four in one of those two, and this is four, six, eight. This is the four, it's the only place for it. The seven makes this the five and this the nine. This becomes a six or an eight. So these are two, three, five. So this is the five because there's already a two or a three in the column. And the three makes that the two and that the three. There's no nine in any of those. That's the nine, so that's the eight. These are six and seven, and there's a seven in column nine. That's six, that's seven. The six looks down, making that the eight, which takes eight out of all of those. Eight is in one of those two.
this is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, nine. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six. What? If this is a two, this is a three, and that is broken. So that's a six. That's not a three. That's a three. That's a two. That's a three. There's no two there. The six makes that the four. That's now an eight. That's not an eight. This is two, five, or seven, and it's not seven. The two, five pair makes that the seven. There's no six here. The 4 makes this the 9 and this the 4. The 9 makes this the 5 and this the 9. The 5 makes this the 2, this the 5, this the 6. Which makes this the 2 and this the 5. The 6 looks up making this the 8 and this the 6. 2239. These puzzles are getting trickier. Whew. Yeah, these aren't coffee break puzzles. These are lunch break puzzles. Now, none of the spots in this one were as tricky as the one in yesterday's one. But that was still quite tricky. Beautiful puzzle, but wow. Glitch Horse, Lumos, and Nash. Put three really clever people on a puzzle and they're going to make it trickier. Good stuff. Well, thank you. I hope you're enjoying the Sudoku U series. Um, I'm very going to be very interested to see what the comments are. I think these are a real step up, um, which is a bit of a problem for me because I've got a bunch of these to record in one night. It's already very late and I've got more to record. I I'm I don't know how I'm gonna cope. Thank you everyone for watching and as always, good luck with your solving.